Hi, how are you? Hola, bienvenidos a mi canal. ¿Cómo estás? I wasn't gonna drink a monster, but I talk too slow if I don't, so I don't know. Cheers, clink. <laughs> so today we're doing a little like collective Depop online thrift haul. I have a lot of really cool pieces. Oh, they're all over here. Sorry, I'm trying to. I wanted to make a fall outfits video because I feel like that's kind of what everybody's doing right now, but I don't have any ideas. I don't. So yeah, I guess we'll get started. This first top I got from, I think her name is Barbecue Billy on Instagram. I'll put a picture, but she has really cool style and she sells a lot of J fashion and stuff on her Depop. So I got this baby doll. It's so cool and unique. My mom said it gives like Beetlejuice vibes. I totally agree. It just like is a cool mix of stripes. Next, I have this t-shirt. It's a band tee, a black band tee, even though I have too many at this point. Sleeping with Sirens, you already know. I mention it in like every video, but that Sleeping with Sirens concert, life changing. I don't know if I mentioned it in my other videos, but when I was in middle school, I was into emo music, but mostly Pierce the Veil and Bring Me the Horizon. And for some reason, I never listened to Sleeping with Sirens. Like I, I had never heard of them until more recently. And I'm like, wow, like how did I not hear about them growing up? Isn't that strange? I was talking to my pen pal Kayla about this. And she's like, how did you miss them when you listened to King for a Day? Like it's literally on one of my earliest playlists on my Spotify, I have King for a Day. How did I never look up Kellen Quinn or Sleeping with Sirens? I don't know, but but either way, I hate that like TikTok culture is like, oh, you weren't emo back in the day. You're not a real emo. You weren't seen back in the day. You weren't a real seen kid. Because even like me, who listened to emo music back then, sometimes you missed a band for some reason. Or a lot of you guys are younger and you didn't grow up at the end of the scene era. Yeah, I just think that's so ugly. And even Vic Fuentes himself, has said that that's so ugly that people are saying that that you're not a real fan because that's just how people find music nowadays is the internet i remember like three or four years back my friend showed me a sleeping with siren song and i fell in love with it and then i went down a rabbit hole so uh i'm glad i'm here now and i really like this shirt because it has a heart graphic and i already cut off the top it didn't come like this <laughs> i cut it off because i'm crazy and i like the like off the shoulder kind of vibe the next piece i got is a tote bag. Did I need a third Twilight tote bag? No, I did not need a third one, but I really like them. And I just, I just know what I like and I just stick to variations of it. Are you screaming? I'm screaming. Oh my goodness. I've been on the hunt for these Alice Cullen bags for so long. I'm still on the hunt for the gray one, but when I was little and the movies originally came out, I wanted to be Alice so bad. I cut my hair short thinking I would look like her, but um, little Kaylee did not know how to use a straightener <laughs> to, to achieve this look, so it looked pretty bad. It's funny because growing up, my favorite characters were like Edward, Bella, and Alice. But I think now that I'm a little bit older, I think I really enjoy Charlie, of course. Charlie's always been a favorite, but um, Charlie, Jacob. I know, I know Jacob, but yeah, I like his goofball side and I love dogs. And, and not so much in the movies, but in the books, I really liked Emmett's personality because he's fun too. I like fun. No offense to Edward and Bella, but they're just a little bit more quiet. <laughs> We'll switch it up because all these pieces have been black. <laughs> I got... This was one of my ISO sweaters. I'm screaming, screaming. It's a size medium in the kids Abercrombie and I'm not a kids medium. <laughs> I kind of have to squeeze into it, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just love the contrast of the light gray with the dark gray. I did like a pseudo haul of things I already own a couple videos back. 
if you haven't seen it, um, yeah, I go kind of crazy for these old school Abercrombie and Hollister sweaters. I just love a good baby doll, which leads me into the other baby doll I talked about in that video. I got this Victoria's Secret baby doll. It's 110% a slip dress. It's like sheer, but I wear it with a black lace cami underneath. This piece went viral a couple years back, I believe. So now that it's not viral anymore, the price has gone down a bit and I'm not complaining, like I said. Uh, so very horror game protagonist. The next piece was also in my ISOs. I have found a lot of my ISOs and I'm over the moon about it. So I found this skirt on Mercari. <gasps> I, I, I can't. Like holding these pieces up, I can't. But this trip skirt, I don't know how old this one is, but I'm assuming it's older because it's low waisted. It's a size medium. I think I'm a bigger or small is what it is. Um, and the reason I bring up sizing is not to be weird. It's just in case like you're looking for the same skirt, I'm kind of telling you, cause I wasn't sure and I was debating like, do I get a small, do I get a medium? But if you want to wear it low rise comfortably and you're around my size, I think a medium is better because a small is just too short, like the older smalls. It's plaid. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm just showing you, I haven't gotten a chance to wear it yet. So I'm still, I'm processing this as you are processing this. Um, it has a little frilly lace at the bottom and then it's plaid. In person, you can tell there's a bit of a navy tint to it. And then there's also lace right here. And it has these straps with the earrings. Same in the back. The next piece I got thrifting like in person i haven't gone thrifting alone in a really long time so i stumbled upon this sports bra and i saw that it was lululemon i've never owned anything or touched anything lululemon before i try to stay away because i don't want to fall in love with their quality and then be a slave to their prices when i saw this was 2.99 i was like okay Okay, I gotta see what all the hype is about. I got it. I couldn't even figure out what the size was. Cause it's like hidden. If you've never owned anything with Lululemon, they have it like hidden in little, little pockets. I would never choose something so strappy, but I ended up really liking it cause it's such a, a cool detail, I guess, to add. One of my favorite thrift finds, honestly. Okay, the last piece is the one I'm most scared to wear. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've seen this one on maybe May's little shorts reels on Pinterest and stuff. Insane. This is also by Trip. Two Trip pieces in one haul. That's kind of crazy. Just a little bit. It's a little crazy. I'll admit it. Quality is really nice. I love all the lace detailing here in the back and then here on the bus. There's a good amount of structure to it, so. It's not shapeless, but it's not painful, if that makes sense. If you get it your size, it sucks you in. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess it does what a corset is meant to. It's meant to fit a little tight. Definitely out of my comfort zone, but I think it'd be so fun to wear to maybe the next concert I go to. Oh, this is a non-clothing piece, but I did get it on Depop. But as I have been regressing to my childhood state back in the 2010s, I have been drawn to my favorite doll and I got Laguna on Depop. I actually ordered it from another YouTuber's shop. It's Wicked Bunnies. I feel like you may have watched her if you watch my videos. She does a lot of J fashion and sometimes seen influence things. She's also into emo bands and stuff. And so when I saw she was selling this Dead Tired Laguna, I was like, you know what? I want to support my fellow YouTube Depop girly and also get a piece of my childhood. I did not own this specific Laguna growing up. I only had the original Laguna, but I can't find her. So I thought I would kind of fill in the gaps with this one. She was selling it, only the doll, the fish, 
is from my childhood so that's the original laguna fish and then i ordered the little shoes and stand from mercari and i just love the pops of pink all together i feel like it really goes together these shoes do go with the outfit but i kind of tied in the pink stand and the pink fish so cute so yeah i really like her she's here on my desk and i feel like she looks really good with my cupid my favorite monster high dogs were laguna cupid i think i lost my train of thought with where i was going with that but Gulia was also my favorite. I had the original, but all I can find from my Gulia things is her boots, which are cool because, you know, I love me some knee-high converse. And then I also have her little baggy. I always loved Gulia's style, and now that I'm older, I realize that she was a scene kid. Knee-high converse and the bright colors and patterns and stuff. But I also had the dead tired. She's looking kind of rough, but this is like what I actually played with as a child, so... I expect nothing less. Oh, and Cupid has Laguna stand. So I feel like next to each other, they go really well. I also had Cupid growing up. So my best friend Liz gave me her second Cupid and the Laguna stand, literally insane. I've been wanting to show Daniela, aka Wicked Bunnies, how I completed the doll and how she's like on my desk and stuff. But I don't think her Instagram DMs are open. So I'm just gonna tag her in this video in the description. Hopefully she sees it, but Daniela, if you do watch this, your doll is in good hands. And the last thing I got, I feel like these are so random, like a doll, and then I have a vinyl. If you happen to frequently watch my videos, you might know by me mentioning it in like every video that I am a huge The Garden fan. And this is their album, Aha. <laughs> I like this album cover specifically because there's a dog on it. Here's the back of it. So cool. Literally, is this just an excuse for me to talk about the garden again? <laughs> LOL. But uh, if you've never heard of the garden before, they make kind of, I would describe it as lo-fi, electronic, punk, rock. If you're not into lo-fi sounds, you might not enjoy it, but if you're into like wavy, kind of kooky music, I think you'll like The Garden. I'll leave like a list on the screen in case you want to listen to some of their music. Wink, wink, let me know. Honestly, I feel like I've gotten so many comments of you guys saying that you finally tried the Peach Monster and loved it. I feel like you might like The Garden. I don't know. The band consists of two twins from Orange County, California. Sometimes I can't tell them apart, but I'm pretty sure this is Wyatt and this is Fletcher. And then it has like the track list here, the skeleton hand, just so cool. I think the... But it has all the song lyrics here in the back. I think my favorite on this album is probably Egg. It's the 13th track, but you probably saw it on the on the list I showed. I love Egg, both because it's a good song and also I enjoy scrambled eggs. I eat them practically every day. The vinyl itself is nothing crazy. There's nothing on it, but that's okay. So I think that's the last thing in this haul. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, okay, so I'm filming the try on portion right now. This is a little interesting story time, probably one of the most interesting things to ever happen to me, but so the garden has this song called AM PM Truck. So this was, I believe, my first year of college and I was a full-time student. I was working a lot at the time and I went skating with Wyatt one evening and I remember being so tired and so my plan was to get a monster and then drive home. And then I got a call from somebody toxic in my life and I was telling them, yeah, I'm skating, I'm gonna get a monster, blah, blah. And then they gave me this whole spiel like, monster's so bad for you, blah, blah, blah. Like you shouldn't get a monster. I was gaslit into thinking that I did not need a monster because it's bad for you. And then I was driving home on the freeway and I fell asleep. I fell asleep at the wheel and I totaled my car. I crashed into the guardrail. The, the guardrail was all swirly up. Yeah, I woke up and it felt like a, like waking up from a nightmare. You know, you're like, <gasps> and like the airbags were out. It smells like airbags. I don't know, there's a certain smell. And ever since that day, I told myself, I'm never gonna let somebody gaslight me into thinking that I don't need a monster. Cause, Cause sometimes you do. I mean, obviously like sleep and get well rested, but sometimes you can't control especially if you're a full-time college student. I'm no longer full-time, but if you're a full-time college student, you gotta take care of yourself, okay? But yeah, long story short, that happened. I fell asleep at the wheel, totaled my car. It was a whole big thing. Um, and honestly, I just feel like it was the best thing to ever happen to me. I don't know, I learned so much through that experience. And a couple weeks later, I wanna say it was less than a month, the garden dropped to kiss my Super Bowl ring. And I heard the song AM PM truck and it's about falling asleep at the wheel. And it was so comforting to me, you know, this big event that happened in my life that had this big chain of events. They had a song about it and that came out very soon after it happened to me. Yeah, that song is super special and it's probably on the playlist you just saw on the screen. Maybe I'll make, okay. I'm going to make the playlist and then I'll link the playlist itself in the description so that you don't even have to like look up the different songs. It'll be there for you and I'll have a cute little picture. Um, if you made it till the end, you're awesome and I hope you have an amazing day. See you later, bro fist. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Hebrews 12, 11.